Some people actually have no home training. What's up, kids? I'm looking crusty and dusty and musty and rusty, so going to freshen up for y'all. Let's change that. Why am I so psyched? I feel like there's a lot of noise coming from like Okay, let's cut to the chase. Oh if you are following me on Instagram, I asked to send in topics or whatever that I should talk on. I know you missed me. I don't blame you because like, I mean, I speak facts. It's been a long time since I did a talking video. See, part of the noise, okay, I tried. Let's talk. So, I got your replies. And it's about to go down because I'm focused on you today. Down. Booty hole brown. I don't know how you can wake up and come up with my booty hole brown. So I have your replies. It's not much. Yeah, yeah, it's much. Oh, it's much. Ah, what's going on? You people are vexing. You, know. you people are vexing. Um, yeah. How do you feel about going back to school every time it's back to school period? I mean, there are different aspects of school here. Yeah. I know I really like the educational aspects. Oh. If I want to go back, to, like when it's time to go back to school, I'm most excited about um the new experiences, the people I'm going to see, and these stupid, crazy, crazy scenarios I'm going to en encounter, and situations I'm going to encounter, because people are moving mad. At this point, people are mad, they're not moving mad. So, uh, I don't know. I'm always excited about that part. I'm just like, I don't feel anything, because like, I don't know. I'm just taking life as it happens, so I don't really... <laughs> actually like your normal, regular life still, but... That educational part is just too stressful. Some people actually have no home training. Because why would you be asking me such a question? I'm not even going to answer or put it on the screen. Um, what are you studying? I said that in my fifth episode. Go watch it if you want to find out. Like, I don't know why you guys are always asking me what I'm studying. Like, I don't understand what you want to do with the course. <laughs> do I actually look like a law student? Of course not. Do I look like a doctor? Hmm. Hell no. Um, I need to stop slouching. How is handling school and content creation like? I mean, it's not, I'm not going to say it's not difficult too because it can actually get, but like I always say, I have a balance and achieve that balance through planning. If you've planned and you know, okay, this is what you're going to do. Today I'm doing this, tomorrow I'm doing this, then you're going to be fine. Like right now, I'm not saying things may go exactly exactly as planned because realistically things don't always go as planned but I have like an outline I know what I want to do I know what I want to film till like November that will give me more time to also plan ahead for upper months like December and January next year you just need to plan yourself I don't know the main thing the main point about everything is trying to find a balance and you can only do that if everything about you is scheduled Really like schedule but like you should have a schedule like you should have a schedule i'm not saying you should plan things today exactly because i don't wake up every day and say i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this first but like i said <laughs> if you watch my private story video i said i just wake up and upgrade but it doesn't mean like i don't have a guide right now i have a video uploading for sunday i filmed that video like three weeks ago or so and um yeah i filmed it three weeks ago so me uploading this sunday doesn't mean oh i filmed it this week i edited this week and i posted it on sunday everything has to be planned if you get what i mean one aspect should not affect the other aspect so it's calm for me i don't want to be too 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 detailed because i'll start talking and i will not touch other people's like topics when you reject a guy and it turns into an insult I don't know why guys have that. They have this weird ego and pride. Like, especially guys who are not now really. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the laugh. Let me just talk. But like, they have this really weird ego. They just have this weird mentality. Like, they feel like okay, if they make up their mind to talk to. If they make up their mind to like talk to a girl now, she must say yes. She must say yeah. Say you know, I must take this girl home. I must take this girl out. And <laughs> you will not consider the fact that she also has what she wants and what she doesn't want. And when she doesn't want you, it becomes a problem. It's not by force, like, get up and go. Rejection is normal for everybody. If you get rejected, it's just take it and go. 
why are you feeling impressed why are you feeling threatened it's not by force like are you somebody she want do you have the quality she wants no take it and sleep i don't know i, d I actually don't know why guys just start insulting the baby start telling his friends and other people oh she will not even find that baby she's mad she's mad 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 you know that's the terminology like you say calm the hell down take your rejection and go everybody gets rejected why are you being pressed about it how can someone manage a long distance relationship Huh. Why are you asking me as if I've, I'm in a long distance relationship? Did I tell you I'm in a relationship? Did I tell you I'm in a long distance relationship? <laughs> I don't remember doing that. Actually, I'm not in a relationship, so I don't understand. <laughs> okay, someone said, um, it hurts a lot remembering about the past. What can I do to forget about it and move on? I don't think you can actually forget. If you think about it, as the day passes by, as humans naturally are, we wouldn't remember every single thing. And it's not something you choose to do because it's something that just happened because we're humans. Like now, you're a human being. <laughs> You can't choose not to be hungry. You will get hungry and you eat. You can choose not to eat, but you can't choose not to feel that hunger because like you can't get rid of your emotions. It's in you. So I would say that you cannot, there's no way you can get rid of something that happened to you. It's not gonna leave your head because it really had, you know, an impact on you. Some days you can have distractions, things to take your mind off the fact, but you cannot really, you can never, for you can't even choose to forget because you can just wake up and then you just randomly forget it or you're just going out and about doing your thing and then you get triggered. It's normal. Moving on does not mean forgetting about it. It has happened, it's part of you, it's part of the experience, it's part of your journey, it's part of your healing journey, it's part of you getting better at life and getting better personally, mentally, spiritually all of that so moving on does not mean oh you are a bad memory i'm gonna throw you out poof nah sorry doesn't work like that sorry to break it to you that's not what moving on it moving on is basically trying to find yourself in a better space than you were before trying to heal from everything that you have experienced and what has happened to you so to move on you can have coping mechanisms you can have distractions hobbies and all of that coping mechanism you can you know find some new hobbies to get into like you can start journaling as people may say creating content if it's something you feel that you're good at it's not the one you start forcing yourself <laughs> swimming ecc all of that to help you cope you need to find something that you can channel everything to do you get what i'm saying cope and help you get better listen to music talk to someone I'm not usually somebody who talks to someone like i have other ways you know you can have what did i say distractions yeah people are a great source of distraction when people say distractions they normally think of it in a negative way as far you are the enemy of my enemies you are the enemy in my life you are preventing me from succeeding in my life everything that's not what it is it's just like in this nigeria everybody's just like once you hear the word distraction oh you're failing you're failing in life you are a hindrance to my progress no distractions can also be good because it takes your mind off what you're trying to you know heal from exactly what you're going through just to help like even if it's not permanent like nothing really is permanent only change is permanent like you wake up in the morning your mood can be then in the night your mood is so it's like nothing really is permanent so so you have distractions to help you cope and just to help you get in a good space because you don't choose you actually don't choose when you're triggered you don't choose when you remember all the things that happened in your past so it's not every time you want to remember all of that like at all you just want to have a good day blah, blah blah you can find those friends that will help you go out surround yourself with people that contribute to your happiness that make you laugh all those things help you cannot change the situation but it helps you and it helps your health <laughs> you get what i'm saying i hope this helps can you please talk about how to become a good influencer i'm going to be honest with you because i don't want to it's not everything i know first of all i would even say i'm an influencer people may call me an influencer see i don't even know what i'm doing on, on online <laughs> just do what i love and put it out there anybody that wants to work with me anybody that acknowledges me anybody that wants to collaborate with me i'm fine with it no problem but there are actually other people and there are better people to give you that advice because that's what they do and they know a lot about the field like core influencer they will have more to give you because i don't even like like i don't recognize myself in that space but i mean i can like i'm open to like collaborations and all of that but the way i present myself online i don't come out and say like i'm an influencer but i think i think i am to people because 
I don't know, but you get what I'm saying, Sha? You can search on Google, like, there are so many tips, website, everything that can help you, help you learn how to be an influencer, how to do good, how to do it. Because I can't tell you, honestly. All I know is YouTube and creating videos because that's what I channel. My passion, that's my passion. Oh no. I genuinely feel like I'll be single forever because I find a red flag in, in every person who is interested in me and I'm also bad at communicating. Would like to remain anonymous. Don't worry, I'm not even gonna say your name, baby girl. It's fine, I don't even say people's names. It's a normal feeling because like it's just so difficult to work with human beings. Like I understand where you're coming from. It's difficult to just put that, you know, trust in people get where you're coming from that's very valid that's on one hand then on the other hand <laughs> have you forgotten what i wanted to say yeah um the name of my camera is sony zve 10 go watch my previous video to see the unboxing of that how do you deal with friendship breakups <laughs> Are you stalking me? What do you mean? Why are you asking me that question? <laughs> In life, you just get to a point where you realize that everyone is not going to work out with you because as we grow, we change and then we drop thing, things that don't contribute to, you know, don't contribute to our you know goals in life don't tally they don't align they don't they just it just doesn't work anymore like, they don't fall in line with your body they just drop things like that like, you are likely to you know lose friends it's gonna happen to everybody because we're growing we're changing we're discovering ourselves we're defining what we want the best way to deal with it is just both of you just come to an understanding that you know me and you it's not really like this anymore things yeah you were there we were there things were nice you know it's all nice it's all good we don't have to do this anymore because this and this and this and this and this and as you grow you're meant to be mature enough to understand that it's not there anymore that's if the breakup was like a natural thing but if it's all those ones that people are not talking again because of one boy or the other <laughs> i don't know how to advise you on that one because those situations are always so crazy and funny to me they were once part of your life they contributed to your happiness they once made you feel so nice so yeah it's gonna be very understandable it's going to be really 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 extremely understandable if sometimes you just wake up and you just want to hug them and you just want to talk to them and you just miss so much about them because they were once aspect of your life it's okay it's normal to feel that way and once in a while actually if you guys ended on a good note you can actually talk to them check up you know once in a while so like help all the reminiscing and all of that oh because i'm feeling sad and i'm pitying the person or feel a little you know oh i feel bad you now come and bring the person back to your life and start forcing a friendship that's already gone friendships can expire friendships can expire they can't you're going to be okay we all came to this world alone i'm not going to say you don't need anyone because human beings are naturally dependent rational animals <laughs> philosophy classes at the end of the day we're all humans we're just trying to get better at life so what's one of your dreams slash goals in life i just want to be successful <laughs> I just want to be successful that's it like i don't really share a lot i can't really i don't really share a lot i need some tips for uni and i keep telling you i did a video on that that's my episode five so make sure if you're looking for like uni tips make sure you go watch that episode. i fell in love in 2018 i was in high school and i was 16 my boyfriend traveled to china it's let me read it again sorry i fell in love in 2018 i was in high school and i was 16 my boyfriend then traveled to china so we've been talking till last year 2018 to 2022 try it i believed in love yesterday was my birthday he forgot i think i'm done this <laughs> hey what's your advice i'm in a long distance relationship <laughs> let me drink water first of all 2018 to 2022 is a lot of 19 20 21 22 like that's serious so like i said i don't know anything about long distance relationship but like if you don't feel right go with your guts and it's there and then and you should not um give up on something because of one human being and i know it's very difficult like who is good who is not good like it's extremely difficult like you have your whole life ahead of you so you can't just say because of one dude in china you've been talking to 
you still have your whole life ahead of you so you can't shut down christians and secular music oh my gosh i'm not gonna lie this one is so hard because music is so great like music is so good and the thing is that many people are so good at producing catchy music and it's always the ones who are not meant to not meant to listen to that are so so catchy that's the temptation and that's the trick it is difficult music is actually everywhere like parties playlists spotify youtube everything is music so i'm not even going to judge anybody this is one aspect of being a christian that is so difficult god the songs are just too good <sighs> It's not easy. People who date in 100 level, as long as you're ready for it, you can date when you like. <laughs> they may end up breaking up. You just need to understand that one thing is not for sure. What am I saying? I've had someone who I'm just friends with claim we were dating and that was very awkward. I don't know why people do that. Personally, I haven't even experienced that. But that's just weird. Why would you be doing that? We're friends, we're friends. Don't be extra. What school do you attend? Watch my previous videos to find out. You're welcome. Why is that texting me? What do you consider a deal breaker? I have so many things. I have so many things to say. In relationship, I'm not going to go there. But in friendship, I really need to think. Deal breakers. Obviously, when you break the person, trust. When you lie stupidly their backs and then you're spreading people have energy you like to go around spreading false information to people to make you look bad um when you're lying about every single thing why are you lying why are you lying why are you lying like i don't understand like we're supposed to be able to talk we're supposed to be with friends why are you why are you lying there's just so many i take on friendship that word i don't want to say overrated but you know how everybody looks forward to like oh making friends and everything it's really not all that. It's something that happens, it comes and it goes. It's fine. As it is okay, it's fine. Friendships don't last forever. Not every friendship lasts forever. You can be friends with this person, you will even do that. <laughs> it's like it's so funny because you be friends with somebody and talking to them, playing with them, hanging out with them, making plans, everything. You even know that in the next one year that person is out of your life. So it's just you just have to take it as it comes. Like, don't be too invested in a particular friendship. I'm not saying you shouldn't invest, like invest, but like don't tie your whole self. Don't be too attached to a particular friendship because it can disappear. And they won't attach you to something, the more difficult it is to get over it. It's a beautiful thing at the same time. Use your head. Most of these are just replies telling me, Oh, I love your videos. Thank you so much for loving this. I like a guy, but I don't know if he likes me. But he's in love with someone else, and I don't know what to do. If he's in love with someone else, why are you wasting your time? Like, human beings, like, I mean, it's a lot, but we add to the complication. We stress ourselves too much. You know, it's feelings, and it takes a lot of time to get rid of them. It takes a lot to get over them. If the person likes somebody else, you already know the person likes somebody else. Why are you stressing yourself? Leave the person alone. Leave the person alone. Don't complicate life. Don't complicate things for you and the person. At the end of the day, if the person falls out of love with the person, without that person, and both of you are meant to be, you're gonna be. But don't stress yourself. If he's into somebody else, you just have to take the L and go. Don't try to break up what they have or get in like get into some triangle rubbish. You're going to end up losing a lot of self-respect. Like you need to respect yourself by respecting others. Because if you try to do anything to sabotage your relationship, it shows how really something's wrong with you up there. So don't do anything crazy. Sit back. My best friend deleted my number because she doesn't like when I post other girls. And this is coming from a girl. <sighs> Then that friend is toxic, I don't understand. <laughs> what do you mean? If you already know that what you have is solid, if people are best friends, then fine, the person can do what they want. Are you going to stop the person from having other friends? Then that person doesn't have your best interest at heart. The person doesn't reach you because the person is obviously allowed to do as whatever she pleases and have other friends, but then for you, um, you can't, which is very toxic and disgusting. So trust me, don't waste your time. Drop the person, he's up. Dead, dead it. Tips on staying productive in school. Okay, okay, okay. Have a planner, plan, schedule. I mean, as difficult as it's been, sound don't stay up too late so end up messing with your head i know you have early classes pay attention in class take notes in class so that when you're reading it just helps you you feel more gendered let's use the word gender i don't really have a study schedule or study pattern i study when i need to so you can have a study study guide i'm so tired oh my gosh like how do people be talking videos and not get tired you can search out your goals for like each week at the beginning of the week things you have to do so that everything you do that week in towards achieving those goals you have already set at the beginning of the week getting up early instead of sleeping your whole weekend away because it's very 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 tempting to sleep your whole weekend away issues why friends turn into strangers at some point because it's just life 
<laughs> you cannot know everything about somebody today and next thing you're not friends again because as we grow things change and friendships you're going to lose a lot of people as you grow up you also change your goals values everything changes and then normally like as human beings we want to have people who contribute to our success so sometimes you grow out of friendship because you see there's no worth in that friendship anymore and it's fine it's normal in uni i finally had to make friends and i'm just a second year of first semester you don't go out looking for friends or meeting people can i be your friend you're not supposed to ask for friendship what do you mean can i be your friend and i'm not supposed to say, oh yes and let's talk about no i'm so sorry but if you didn't know that before know that today you do not ask for friendship you do not beg for friendship it happens to you you and somebody naturally click guys form you born like everything makes sense you guys gel something that's not there is not going to be there you do not force it it comes to you so let it happen you can put yourself out there make yourself appear available don't be a rude person you're friends with somebody and then the person is like vexing or making you feel bad for not talking every day our friends i don't talk to every day but you guys already have a bond what's even there to talk to like what do you want to talk the trees the weather like when we talk we talk sometimes you also check up on the person not the one that, not the one that you stop talking to the person when you now need something and the person you now start asking the person for it but you should understand you can't talk to your friends everyday you can't talk to everybody everyday like everybody has their things they are doing everybody's busy what do you mean you won't talk to me everyday it's not by force in the real world you can't talk to your friends everyday what do you want me to talk about? the atmosphere the trees the plants please <laughs> oh, someone said I'm so pretty and elegant thank you about a week ago or so somebody asked me for advice on youtube and how they're discouraged because of numbers something like that i'm going to put up exactly what i said to that person and i hope you learn from it i don't know why people body shame honestly everybody is free and independent we can't tell this person oh don't body shame i don't know why people do that but if body shame people i know it's tempting to do that sometimes you need to understand that people didn't choose their looks <laughs> if people chose their looks you know how everybody everybody look the same so you all need to learn how to accommodate others and put other people's interests into consideration and stop hurting people how is it affecting you and second of all i didn't choose my looks i want to do vlogs for real but I have problems on insecurities, bad comments. Do things for yourself. There's this thing I always say. Do things for yourself. The second you start living for yourself, that's when you start appreciating life and enjoying life more. Don't do things because of other people. Many people have insecurities. We're not really okay with how with every single aspect of us. But don't let that limit you. You don't even know what impacts you could have on people's lives. What changes you could make. What things you can attract to yourself if you just put yourself out there. If you just make the choice and say, I'm gonna do this. You can't let your insecurities limit you and don't think about people will always talk bad comments good comments people always talk but at the end of the day there will be more people supporting your stuff there will be more good there will always be more positive comments than bad ones keep that in mind people will always talk this is life all those people today are also doing your own thing so you can't let them affect you because they are going up and you're just sitting out there allowing them to defeat you you have to make that choice to put yourself out there i'm done guys ah. um Where's my phone? Oh. But yeah, it was so nice talking to you. Like I said, I'm only doing this once in a while because I can't. I don't know if you do talking videos. I, I'm not really a fan of talking videos. But it's four, and I, I think I started at three. I started at three something and loved everyone who watched this. I am so tired right now. I am still editing this video. No, not editing. Like uploading my um restaurant vlog video uploading this and i am going to look for i'm going to look for something to eat i'm so hungry i'm going to edit this video bye